You're not going to have other gods. God has to be the only God. Some people will say that is in the Old Testament. In the New Covenant, the Old Covenant is fulfilled fully. You will have no other gods before me. The second command has been, some people have avoided it. Some religious, religious people have avoided it because they like it. I mean, they don't like what it says. Says, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. <laughs> so the Lord says, we are not going to make any images. We are not going to bow to them. Now this is not for some particular denominations. Nobody should bow to any image. Small or big. Bow before it like you are bowing to God. You are not going to do that. I know some of you were brought up in 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 cultures or religions or churches where you had to bow to some some images. This is not about a particular church. This is the word of God. <laughs> you are not to bow to anything. You are not going to bow to the Bible. You are not going to make an image of the Bible and bow to it. Or an image of Jesus and bow to it. Or an image of a bishop and bow to it. We are to bow to Jehovah alone. And if you have been bowing to those images, there are things you have to rectify. Because you have already brought yourself and your people under a curse. So when we open the door and worship other gods, we open the door for the church not to be the pillar and ground of truth. Another way, another avenue that the enemy has found. Because I told you this, the sinners, the wicked people have planned to infiltrate the church. Because of the level of devil worship in this country, there is incredible infiltration into every church, every congregation. You'll find people that are located in that congregation. But some have gone very far. Some who worship the devil are actually on the pulpit. They are the ones who are pastors and preachers of the gospel. But that gospel they preach is what Paul was calling another gospel. And so when those infiltrated and started preaching, they started preaching another gospel of what people want to hear. Timothy said there will come a time when people will not listen, will not want to listen to sound, sound doctrine. But 
They will want to hear lakini watapenda kusikia things that that are good for them. Mambo ambayo ni mema kwao. Things that do not frustrate them. Mambo ambayo hatii uzuni. Things that give them pleasure. Mambo ambayo inawatumbuiza. That's what they want to hear. Hiyo ndio wangependa wasikie. They want to hear words that entertain them. Wangependa wasikie maneno ambayo yanafurahisha. And because preachers found that people will not come unless they get entertained. Maana wabili waliona kwamba watu hatakuja wasipotumbuishwa. We have brought exactly that. We have brought entertainment of the pulpit. Tumeleta mambo ya kutumbuisha kwa madhabahu. And that's why you see the things you see on the pulpit. Tunaona ile mambo unaona katika madhabahu. Some of them extremely dumb. Wengine ambao ni maovu sahihi. But we tolerate them. Lakini tunayakubali. And I pray that God will help us. Inaomba Mungu atusaidie that we will understand the times. Tuelewe nyakati and know who is who in, in the in the preaching of the gospel. Na tujue ni nani katikati ya nani katika kuhubiri injili. Um So we we are to be careful Now who we listen to? Ni vyema tuangalifu tunamsikiliza nani? Because this infiltration maana huu uchafu has been very serious. Mekuwa mkali sana. We are bishops and pastors. Tuna askofu na wachungaji. Men called men of God. Watu wanaitwa watu wa Mungu. Who are not really men of God. Ambao kwa hakika wao si watu wa Mungu. But they are there. They they found their way to the front. Lakini wako pale, walijifanyia njia zao kwenda mbele. They found their way to praise and worship groups. Wakajifanyia njia kwenda katika vikundi vya kuimba na kusifu. What happens when they infiltrate? Inafanyika nini wakati wanapenya? The church loses its taste. Kanisha inapotesa ile utamu wake. And then there is sin in the, the church. Kanisa That's why there has been very strange things happening in the church. And the world has been speaking evil about us. Because some of the things that people do in church. We are being regarded as the most foolish people. Tunahesabiwa kama watu ambao ni wanjinga sahihi. Somebody tell us you lie down here and they walk on your on your back. Mtu anakuambia lala hapa na natembelea mgongo wako. Somebody tells you remove all your clothes Mwina and kwa... worship. Mwili anakuambia fua mangu yote na uabudu. That is that happens in the kingdom of darkness. Hiyo inafanyika kwa ufalme wa giza. That's where they remove their clothes to worship. Hapo ndio wao fua mafasi yao ndio waabudu. But in the kingdom of God. Kini kwa ufalme wa Mungu. We worship in the spirit and in the presence of God and properly attired. Tunahubiri katika roho, katika uwepo wa Mungu tukiwa na mafansi mema. But we are to preach the truth. The Bible says the preacher should not lord it over God's people. They should not be lords over God's people. Inasema kwamba wahubiri hawafai kuwa mabwana wa watu wa Mungu. First Peter 5:3 it says neither as being lords over God's heritage. Ama kuwa mabwana wa watu wa mamiliki ya Mungu. The church does not belong to any preacher. Kanisa si amhubiri yote. I hear people say kanisa ya fulani na fulani there is no church that belongs to any man. Hakuna kanisa ambayo inamilikiwa na mtu fulani. And if it belongs to that preacher it is not the church of Christ. Na kama ni yeye muhubiri basi si ya Kristo Yesu. The church of Christ belongs to him. Kanisa ya Kristo Yesu ni ya Yesu. And so those that have infiltrated They'll preach about materialism how you will become rich the church does not belong to any preacher and give motivational lectures i hear people say kanisa ya fulani na fulani there is no church that belongs on how to overcome poverty
party. And if it belongs to that you, you will get to understand the gospel and it opens your eyes and a lot of things are fall in place belongs to you. So those by the spirit of materialism is not the gospel. They will preach about materialism. How you will become rich. You are not judged because you are a preacher and give motivational lectures. I Child of God, I pray that you will wake up. The world has been working to derail the church. To get away to defile the church. That's why you find theological colleges are not what they used to be. They used to be places where ministers were trained. But they were told you cannot get a, what do you call it? A charter unless you offer secular courses. There before people that are caught would go to this college and they would be there studying the word of God and praying and seeking God. Them to compromise and to have every other course within the within the college. How did the church get to that place where the church is not the ground and and, and pillar of truth? When we allowed the world to condition our minds to ungodliness there is a city called Babylon but there is a system called Babylon there is a lifestyle for Babylon and when our minds are conditioned so that we never feel anything about sin we don't get shocked that so and so has fallen into sin we don't get shocked that we hear a pastor was got drunk we don't mind it when we hear he has slept with somebody's wife we've been conditioned when we hear somebody has stolen we think it's okay he has become rich we praise the rich whom we know have stolen because we've been conditioned that way I pray that God will help us the media has worked hard to condition us to the system of Babylon to the lifestyle of Babylon but we are the people of the living God children of the most high we must not live like the people of Babylon we don't belong to Babylon praise the name of the Lord Another thing that has, another avenue the devil has been using is preaching the doctrine of Jezebel. What is the gospel? What is the teaching of Jezebel? Turn with me to the book of Revelation, chapter 2. I would like to read with you.
We read verse 19 to 20. Sura mstari wa 19 na 20. mstari wa 19 na mstari wa 20 ufunuo mlango wa pili Biblia inasema I know thy works and charity and service and faith and thy patience and thy works and the last to be more than the first notwithstanding I have a few things against thee because thou suffered that woman Jezebel which called herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols the spirit and the teaching the doctrine of Jezebel is an, a teaching on idol worship worshipping idols worshipping people worshipping material things to teach and to seduce my servants these days when you hear a brother saying I'm, I'm blessed it doesn't mean he's been filled with the Holy Spirit the spirit and the teaching the doctrine of Jezebel he bought a house or he bought a house and a teaching on idol uh, worship the money might have come from some dubious means worshiping idols worshiping people the spirit of materialism the spirit, the spirit of murder you remember Jezebel killed, killed the, what do you call Naboth he ki she killed Naboth for what purpose to take her a shamba for her husband she killed him and you are the land Naboth's field because he is not alive but the prophet told her your blood is going to be to be licked by dogs at that same spot the doctrine of Jezebel of materialism what preachers are boasting about what Christians are boasting about boast in that you are anointed of the spirit of the living God these things are temporary these things you see are only for a season this woman was said to, to seduce the servants of the Lord to commit suicide I mean not suicide to commit immorality it's the same if you, if you are in getting involved in immorality you are, also, you are like committing suicide but that spirit was advocated by Jezebel and the Lord was writing to this church and saying you have that spirit in that church committing, uh, committing fornication and worshipping of idols are you still with me and grabbing grabbing lands don't you ever think grabbing fornication and worshiping land idols. happens only in Kenya it happened in Israel the spirit of Jezebel she grabbed the land of, of Naboth don't you ever think grabbing fornication and worshiping land happens only in Kenya the church has gotten to where she is in Israel the spirit of Jezebel the family got dismantled. She grabbed the land of, of Naboth. Don't you ever think of grabbing fornication and she not not without any sense of authority? And the deliberate destruction of order in the family by the 
United Nations and the New World Order na mpangilio wa kusundi na umoja wa mataifa wa kuharibu mpangilio wa familia so that children grow up without any sense of responsibility or subjection to authority ndio watoto wakuwe bila jukumu yoyote ama kutii utawala wote unless you learn to be subject to authority isipokuwa ujifunze kutii katika utawala you can never operate properly in the kingdom of god wesu katenda vyema kwa ufalme wa mungu something else another avenue that that the devil got into the church lango mwingine shetani aliweza kupenya kaingia kanisa is something called feminism feminism the this action what do you call it where the ladies are said to be what a man can do the woman can do it even better ni roho wa kutoshanisha wake na waume and so that is destroying god's order hiyo inaharibu mpangilio wa mungu god never created adam to compete with eve Mungu akumumba Adamu ashindane na Eve. They were to complement each other. Ilikuwa ni wasaidiane mmoja. Everybody has their roles. Kila mtu ako na jukumu yake. Husbands now competing with their wives. Waume sasa wakishindana wake zao. And we find families are breaking. We are finding it it's the easiest thing to happen. Tunaona saa hii familia inafunjika inakuwa ni kitu rahisi kufanya. We've seen it so often in soap operas tumeiona vizuri sana kwa hizi vipindi where they they leave this one and get that other one and get married in, mo- in a wedding mali moja anatarakiana na huyu na anachukua mwingine pale na wanafanya harusi and after some while you leave that one get another one na muda mchache kidogo na acha huyo unaenda chukua mwingine that is the system of babylon huyo ni mpangilio wa babylon if kenya wants to experience the blessing of god kama kenya ingetaka ipate baraka yake the systems of babylon need to end mipangilio ya babylon lazima ifike kikomo amen amina there is no other other avenue that has been as effective as the avenue of music hakuna njia ambayo imekuwa ikifanya kazi kama ya msiki music as done a lot to change the society to where it is today. Muziki umetumika sana kubadilisha watu mahali wafike mahali wamefika sana. Some of you were wondering why why people play loud music in matatus and when you ask them to reduce they actually double the volume. Kwa watu wamekuwa kijiuliza kwa nini watu wanacheza msiki wa sauti ya juu kwa matatu kuambia wasipunguze wanaongeza saidi. Cause it's an avenue to get into you. Maana ni njia wa kuingia. Most of this music that is played is deeply satanic. Muziki fulani ambao unacheswa hapa umeingia katika ushetani. Rock and roll and the rest of them. Hiyo inaitwa rock and roll na nyingine nyingi. Actually that rock and roll is about sex is sex. Hiyo inaitwa rock and roll ina ongea kuhusu That's what they meant and you get it also in the church. Hivyo ndivyo alisema na bado ikaingia kanisani. And there are, as you listen to those songs there are subliminal messages messages that you may not get right now but they will be in your inside your character your lifestyle gets changed and influenced ukisikia hiyo msiki kuna mambo uchupe fulani wa kushika hautakuguza wakati wa lakini utaingia ndani yako na utakuelekea mitindo mibaya because that's what the manabas used to do they They take a school girl go be with her in the matatu before the day is over. She's already a changed person through that music. Maana hivyo ndivyo makangu walikuwa nafanya wanachukua msichana wa shule wanampeleka kwa ule matatu na wacheza wa msiki jioni mawaso yake imegeuzwa. And that satanic music has been to destroy morality. And hiyo misiki ya kishetani imekuwa ni And advocate violence and drugs and it's a direct attack on the family that's why i found it strange for people to say bbi reggae are they telling us what kingdom they are in that is for you to decide but the kingdom of god will prevail 
Lakini ufalme wa Mungu utashinda. Praise the name of the Lord. The internet has been used to bring the church to where the church is where she has lost taste. Mtandao umeletwa ukafikisha kanisa mahali imefika. And a lot of us unless you are careful you will lose your life. Wetu tusipokuangalifu utapoteza maisha yako. You will lose your purity. Utapoteza usafi wako. You will lose your righteousness. Utapoteza utakatifu wako. A lot of things that are being displayed are with a purpose. Mambo mengine ambayo inaoneshanwa pale iko na kusudi. Please never think somebody just put pictures there for you to enjoy. Tafadhali usifikirie kwamba mtu aliweka mapicha pale There was a reason and a purpose. Kulikuwa na kusudi na mpango. These people are hunting for your soul. Never think, you know, this pornography you see, it's 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 not innocent. Somebody paid for it. Because it's a very it's a very expensive thing. Somebody paid for it. Kuna mtu alilipia to get your soul. Tiaguse nafsi yako. Somebody pays for it to destroy you. Kuna mtu alilipia ndio ikuharibu to bring you to the kingdom of darkness. Kulete katika ufalme wa giza. It's a purpose. The devil operates with a plan. Ni kusundi. Shetani ufanya kwa mpango. I've kept a saying here. Nothing just happens. Nimeendelea kusema hapa kuna jambo ufanyika bure. That picture you see there has a reason. Hiyo unaona pale kuna namna sababu. That music you hear has a reason. Huo msiki unasikia uko na sababu. The beat has a reason and a source. Huo mtindo unapigwa pale uko na sababu. Na mahali umetoka. Are you with me people? The devil is not just doing things. And the devil never gives free lunches. You will have to pay for it. Some people made mistakes and they are, now they are paying for it with their own souls. That's why we've been reading you hear people that say I've sold my soul to the devil. And I became rich. You became rich, but you're going to pay for it very dearly. Mesketo akisema nimepea nafsi yangu kwa shetani nimetanchirika. Lakini hujatanchirika bure utalipa gharama kuu. Like now our children are facing a lot of problems. Masatoto wetu anakumbana mambo makali. If you want to join Illuminati, write to this number. Kitaka kuingia Illuminati andika kwa hii nambari. Because it's no longer a secret they are not keeping it a secret now because they know they've gotten the people maana sio siri siku hizi wanachua kwamba wamenasa watu the pillar and foundation of truth has been shaken guso na msingi wa kweli umetingizwa but i want you to know people of god nataka mchuo watu wa mungu god is going to raise a generation mungu ataenda kuinua kitu god will raise his people that will stand against the kingdoms of darkness mungu atainua watu ambao watapinga falme za Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know we are having a lot of trash. Najua tunakuwa na uchafu mwingi. A lot of preaching that is satanic. Mawili mengi ambayo ni ya kishetani. Some people go to the church and all they see they watch casting out of devils. What? Watu wengine na kanisa na kile tu wanaona ni kukemea mapepo. For three hours and after that you give an offering and you go home. Masaa tatu na baada ya hayo unatoa sadaka unaenda nyumbani. If demons are being cast out where do you think they are going? Kama pepo inakemea unafikia inaenda wapi? Si na kuingia wewe unaketi pale. Sounds unkind but that's the truth. Inakaa ni kama ina upendo lakini hiyo ndio ukweli. I pray that people's minds will be open. Naomba macho ya watu mawazo ya watu. Please talk to your friends. Nenea marafiki zako. There was a gates called fashion. Kulikuwa na mlango uliitwa mtindo. The Bible talks about fashion. Biblia inaongea kuhusu mitindo. Says as obedient children not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance. But as he which has called you is holy, 
So be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, Ye shall be holy, for I am holy. The fashion industry has been one source that has gotten into the heart of the church and helped. According to the former lust in your ignorance. But as he which that's how a lot of nudity has come about fashions that expose about everything sometimes you wonder what is, this lady is putting on some little bits of clothes but what are you hiding now you have not hidden what is supposed to be hidden And it's the fashion industry that also has been promoting homosexuality in a big way. Making these clothes that are called unisex that a man puts on and looks like a woman. And it is cool to do that witchcraft has been used to derail the church to, to, to defile the church and I'm, my, it's my prayer that the children of God are going to understand unfortunately today there are a lot of preachers a lot of churches where the pastors are using witchcraft and sorcery and they will attract people hold them captive there these people will sit for four or five hours because they are held by the powers of darkness I want to read one verse as I close Revelation chapter 18 verse 4 says and I heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of our sins and that ye receive not of our plagues kisha nikasikia sauti nyingine kutoka mbinguni ikisema tokeni kwake enyi watu wangu mshishiriki dhambi zake wala msipokee mapigo yake the church is going to come out kanisa itatoka saints of the most high the Lord tells us this is what's happening in the world but there are people called, that are called the people of God the Lord is saying come out my people you know what that means it means it is possible to come out I know there is a lot of, a lot of push by the world but the saints can come out God says come out my people that ye be not partakers of their sins and that you receive not the plagues the evil the portion of the wicked one I pray that you will look at your life and pray that there is going to be fire in your life the fire of the Holy Spirit burning Babylon will silence you but the Holy Spirit will ignite you again we can overcome the spirit of Babylon listen saints it doesn't matter how many have compromised God cannot tell you to come out of Babylon if he doesn't believe you can come out 
You will come out. Utatoka. You will walk in holiness. Utatebea kwa takatifu. You will walk in victory. Utatebea kwa ushindi. You will walk in purity. Utatebea kwa usafi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to have holy men. Men that are faithful to their wives. Ladies that are faithful to their husbands. Young people that are living in sexual purity. It is possible. I say it is possible. The Lord is doing it. By his spirit. He will raise that generation. In Jesus mighty name. Shall we stand? And I will ask you to lift up your hands and call upon the name of the Lord. May you be separated to the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and call upon the name of the Lord. Could there be worldliness in your life? Ask the Lord to, to cleanse you. By His Spirit. Ask the Lord to purify you today. In Jesus' mighty name. Shall we stand? And I will ask you to lift up your hands and call upon the name of the Lord. May you be separated to the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and call upon the name of the Lord. Could there be worldly?